recording okay so last time we talk about this nucleus nucleus model right global model global model in nucleus nucleus collision so today is uh, we are talking about the another model which is known as jorkens model it is written as b jorken but pronounced as jorkens model jorkens model of nucleus nucleus collision so what is this model about what how does it um, discuss your nucleus nucleus collision like in the previous case we talk about the nucleus nucleus collision why we consider the individual baryons then we just take the binomial distribution over all the average number of baryon baryon collisions and we find out what was the what were the different physical quantities like we were interested in cross section the average number of baryon baryon interactions and all those things now today's <clears throat> lecture is about the jorkens model so in jorkens model it is uh, this jorkens model is about again the nucleus nucleus collision is again about the nucleus nucleus collision okay this was given by this jorkens that's why we call this as a jorkens model so in this model what we do we consider the head on collision of two identical nuclei in center of mass frame we consider the head on collision of two different nuclei of two nuclei rather identical nuclei they should be identical not different identical nuclei in center of mass frame now you know that center of mass frame is a frame of reference where in the total lean momentum of all the particles is zero or in other words, other words we can see the two beams are approaching towards each other like for example i have one nuclei that is coming in this direction so another nuclei that is coming in this direction so we call this system as a center of mass system so is jorkens model mein hum kya kare whereas if you will see in the previous case jahan pe hum uh, this global model bhi baat kar kar rahe the usme humne target jo hai rest pe rakha tha and projectile nucleus was hitting the target at certain impact parameter right but in this model this model is different from that particular model because we are considering the head on collision of two different nuclei in center of mass frame theek hai so <clears throat> instead of uh, representing the two nuclei like this spherical shapes i am going to represent it by two thin discs why so i am represent i am saying that if this is a nucleus one this is a nucleus two so this nucleus uh, i am calling this as a projectile projectile nucleus b and this as a target target nucleus a right so this is coming this direction and this is coming in this direction so that both meet at this particular point which is called baad mein z is equal to 0 so and this is the before collision before the collision <clears throat> before collision process now why i am representing the nuclei rather than this spherical shapes i am representing it by thin discs it is like thin discs means they are represented like this now in instead of right representing this i will just represent just to some geometrical interpretation so this is because of the reason the because there is a sub, substantial length contraction takes place substantial length contraction length contraction because of this substantial length contraction we are representing these two different this uh, nuclei with thin discs you know since they are moving with the speed of light and they are in the center of mass frame so you know that when something is moving with the speed of light in relativity in the very first lecture i told you that there will be a length contraction the length will assume to be the length will be assumed to be as contracted so instead of right representing it by some spherical shapes two different nuclei we are representing it by two thin discs huh? two thin discs right okay now what is actually happening before the collision before the collision this projectile nucleus b comes from a very far distance like for example it comes from here there usko main kahunga z is equal to from z is equal to infinity this nucleus comes from the point z is equal to rather i will say that minus infinity because in this direction i am going to take minus infinity and in this direction i am going to take z infinity so it comes from this uh, in from this particular direction यहां से इस डायरेक्शन में ये आपका आ रहा है एंड इट कम्स विद स्पीड ऑफ लाइट राइट कम्स विद स्पीड ऑफ लाइट एंड मीट्स द टारगेट न्यूक्लियस एट दिस पॉइंट बट दिस टारगेट न्यूक्लियस आल्सो कम्स फ्रॉम जेड इज इक्वल टू प्लस 
infinity with the same speed with the same speed as that of this as that of the projectile being released let me represent it here yani ek particle aapka idhar se aa raha hai aur ek nuclei aapka idhar se aa raha hai this is coming from z is equal to minus infinity this is coming from z is equal to plus infinity now why am z usually hum maine aapse kaha tha last lecture mein bhi the longitudinal direction we are representing it by the z axis longitudinal axis that's why so we are representing this direction as a longitudinal axis so when this is come this will come they will meet at a some point and i recalled that point as a z is called infinity let us suppose ye quadrant hai aapka ek nuclei aapka yahan se aa rahe hain ek nuclei aapse with the same speed if they are meeting coming at the same speed they will meet at this origin so that is why i am representing it by z is equal to 0 point here right so <clears throat> you have to understand ki jo jorkon model hai isme hum kya karte hain kar rahe hain we are considering the two different nuclei uh, the head on collision of two different nuclei in the center of mass frame right so we instead of writing it by the, representing it by the super, spherical the shapes i am representing it by thin discus because there will be substantial length contraction Length contraction. That's why we represent it by this rather than representing in this spherical this balls. I represent it by this two thin discs. Now, what is happening before the collision? This nuclei comes from z is equal to minus infinity, and this nuclei comes from z is equal to plus infinity. The two nuclei are coming with a speed close to speed of light, and they will meet at a point z is equal to zero. Right. So, yehi <clears throat> process. So, I will say that the two nuclei meet at. the two nuclei meet at z is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 for example if this is a x axis ya z axis jisko hum bol rahe hain and this is a time axis so here this is z is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 so the time will start from this point now where they will meet so i say that the two nuclei will meet at point z is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 theek okay. now you know that when i am talking about the nucleus the nucleus is actually composed of different nucleons right protons and neutrons so the collision of the nucleons of the projectile so actually the collision is happening with the nucleons of the projectile and with the nucleons of the target nucleus so i write it here the collisions of the collisions of the nucleons the collisions of the nucleons of this projectile of this projectile nucleus nucleus with that of the target nucleus with that of target nucleus with that of target nucleus <coughs> takes place and takes place at z t is equal to 0 0 Then the x axis is equal to zero and t is equal. These are the coordinates, right? So there will be different, uh, so many number of collisions between the nucleons, between or I can say the baryons of the one nuclei with the baryons or nucleons of the another collision. Now each such an elastic collision, each such an elastic collision, any yani nucleon nucleon collision, I I can say so each such an elastic collision. या हम मैं इसको बोलूंगा बैरियन बैरियन कोल्यूजन सॉरी बैरियन बैरियन कोल्यूजन इज ऑलवेज अकंपनीड बाय इज ऑलवेज अकंपनीड बाय अ लार्ज लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी अ लार्ज लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ कोलाइडिंग बैरियंस what i mean i mean to say that when the two nuclei will collide with each other that means that baryons or the nucleon is the one nuclei will collide with the nucleons or baryons in the another nuclei so where since they are coming with a very high energy when they will collide they will lose some energy so that's why i say that jo bhi inelastic collision in mein hoga that is a baryon baryon collision that is always accompanied by large loss of energy of the colliding baryons and the baryons which are coming from the opposite direction they will collide and they will lose this energy now what will happen now due to this loss of <clears throat> due to this loss of energy and momentum energy and momentum obviously when somebody will lose something will lose an energy what will happen <clears throat> there is loss of energy and momentum the baryons jo hain the earth nucleon <clears throat> slow down they will slow down slow down 
after the collision. They will slow down after the collision. Uh, earlier they were coming with very high energy and very, with very high speed, but they they uh, collide with each other. When they will collide with each other, they will lose some energy. So once they will lose energy, their their, their energy as well as the momentum will. This because of the energy and momentum will lost, they will slow down. They will not move now that fast as they were moving earlier. I hope this is okay up to this point. Is it okay? So it's very simple. Sorry. Yes, sir. First, as the energy levels of the conduction band are quantized. Yeah, why? At that time, conduction band will be all energy levels so quantized. Yeah, which conduction band is it? Yes, Zubair's or Harris's? What are they doing? Both. Mic, mic, are you off? नहीं ये लोग कुछ और सुन रहे हैं यहाँ सुन ही नहीं रहे एनीवेज सो सो व्हाट आई सेड कि ड्यू टू दिस लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी एंड द मोमेंटम द बेरियोनस विल स्लो डाउन आफ्टर द कोल्यूजन बट इन सर्टेन केसेस और वेरी हाई एनर्जीज हाउेवर एट वेरी हाई एनर्जीज दिस स्लो डाउन बेरियोनस स्लो डाउन Baryons after the collision, so what I what I was saying, this uh, uh, is a one projectile nucleus. So this is coming in this direction. This is coming in this direction. So once they will collide, they will lose energy. So because of this loss of energy and momentum, these baryons will slow down. But In certain cases, we are very high energies. जो slow down baryons होते हैं after the collision, they still have some uh, momentum. They have that much of the momentum that after the collision, that uh, let me represent it by um, figure. So, uh, but uh, however, at very high energies, these baryons after the collision can still have can still have the enough momentum enough momentum to proceed forward to proceed forward and move away from the region of and move away from the region of collision region of collision as i will represent in figure b so what i was saying so this is uh, uh, like this this is like this uh, this is now i will say since earlier i called this as a projectile nucleus b and this as a target nucleus a is that yes b and a so sorry okay so now what will happen so the collision point is this so there will be a lot of lo ener energy lost and that energy loss will be deposited in this region i will explain that in a while so this has a thickness delta z delta z okay now what i am saying that this nucleus when they after the collision so this a will move in this direction so let me represent it by a dash and it will move in this direction this b is moving in this direction or it collision it has some enough momentum so it will cross this barrier and it will move in this particular direction now so that's what i am saying that at very high energy they slow down baryons after the collision have settled enough momentum that they will proceed in the forward direction so in the forward direction means and will move away from the region the collision so this is a region of collision so after the collision a will go in this direction b will go in this direction because of their high energy because of this uh, their high enough momentum because of the very high momentum of these baryons okay now the energy lost by the baryons as a result of this collision is deposited in a region in this region with Around z is equal to zero, so this is a z is equal to zero. Now, the energy lost by baryons perenge that is deposited in this particular region. Okay. Now, these bary the baryons from one nuclei and the baryons from the other nuclei will lose energy, and that is deposited in this particular region. Also, this energy deposition, which you have, this is additive in. Nature, additive in nature means it will keep on added, adding. Well, for example, यहाँ पे जो है एक बेरियन ने कुछ energy lost के second बेरियन आया he also lost some energy. So the number of the बेरियन is the number of the energy lost that do they do lost after the collision will keep on adding. So it will keep on 
adding in this particular region. That is what I mean by the energy deposition is additive in nature. So let me write it here. The energy lost by these baryons is deposited in a region around Z is equal to zero. See? As the energy deposition is additive in nature and it will keep on editing additive in nature See? a large amount of energy a large amount of energy will be deposited will be deposited in this Suma region in a Suma region of space in a Suma region of space in short duration of time in a small region of space in short duration of time okay so what will what will happen <clears throat> i say that because the, the energy will keep on adding this around this region so large amount of energy will be deposited in this region in a very short duration of time right so this makes the energy density in the region very high energy density that is energy per unit volume so energy density in this particular region will be very high when obviously when the, the concentration of something will keep on adding the density will be very high now there will be some quanta or some mediating particle which will carry the energy in this region so that quanta or that particle which will carry the energy in this region may be in the form of here it will be in the form of either quarks or gluons or or hadrons any of the particles which will be mediating energy in this particular region they will be either it will be the right quanta will be either quark or like the gluon or we have the hadron now you know that the quarks are the compound come this constituents of this the nucleus the gluons are the mediating particles of the quarks when i talk about the the, the mediating particles that binds the quarks together in the neutron and the proton are gluons and hadrons you know that hadrons are the mediating particles like in nuclear force the the mediating particles in proton and neutrons in the nucleus is a hadron hadron pi plus minus bosons but they are actually the hadrons they are made up of quarks okay so that is why these the individual particles which will carry the energy in this region will be in the, in the form of and they will be either quarks or gluons or the hadrons so these are different class of the particles and you already know about these particles now these things this, these circumstances which I explained to you, which are faced by these nucleus nucleus collisions at very high energy, actually led this Jorkan, led Jorkan to suggest that at uh, that around the region Z is equal to zero, a new phase of matter is being formed, and he called that phase as Coragulan plasma, QGP, Coragulan plasma, Coragulan plasma. We are going to discuss this coagulant plasma thoroughly in the next lecture. So the next lecture is about the coagulant plasma. So these circumstances which are faced by the nucleus nucleus collision when they are colliding at a very high energies. So they it led Jorkan to suggest that at very high energies around the region Z T is equal to zero, a new phase of matter that is what we called as a coagulant plasma is formed. Now in order to uh, make it more <clears throat> to make it uh, understand it more in a more easy way what he did so jorkan actually gave us a space time scenario space time scenario of such nucleus nucleus collision what do, what do you mean by the space time scenario so he said that for example let me draw it here if this is a longitudinal direction oh, sorry i will plot it like here so if this is some longitudinal direction z so this is a collision point some beam is coming in this direction i called this as a projectile and the other particle is coming in this direction i'm calling this as a target so now they meet at this particular point and we have another axis which he called as a time so this is a time axis 
okay so now <clears throat> the first thing is that there will be a different regions this will be a first region so then there will be a let me draw it first then i will just explain this is what we call as a space time scenario so the, actually de divine this space time scenario this is space and distance that is what is happening with after the collision with space and time yani with the evolution of space and the time what is actually happening to the, the nucleus nucleus collision so yahan pe obviously you know that here it will be a zero zero z will be zero time will be zero now there is a region first region second region third and finally the region fourth this region so this is what we called as a space time scenario space time scenario of nucleus nucleus collisions at high energies at high energies so let's see what is actually <clears throat> happening in this particular region when the two nuclei coll collide the formation takes place that means the plasma formation takes place the two nucleus that like so since you know that the nuclei jo um, nucleus jo aate hain we'll let me talk about about the nuclei they are composed of the protons neutrons uh, okay nucleus nucleus is proton neutron proton neutron proton neutron and when i talk about the baryon this is proton and this is another proton now the proton you know that is composed of three different quarks so quarks 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 so when they at collide at a very high energies these protons are again broke these baryons broke down and they will be formed so the plasma form in the region first actually the plasma formation starts start. however so initially it will not be and the thermal equilibrium यानी जो जो प्लाज्मा आपका बनेगा इट विल नॉट बी एट ए थर्मल इक्विलिब्रम यू नो दैट थर्मल इक्विलिब्रम फ्रॉम योर हाइड्रोडाइनमिक्स फ्रॉम योर अर्लियर प्राइमरी क्लासेस सो इन रीजन सेकंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देन देयर विल बी सम इक्विलिब्रेशन यानी इट विल ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इट टू ए थर्मल इक्विलिब्रम इक्विल इक्विलिब्रेशन इन द सेकंड सेकंड दिस रीजन there will be a process of the equilibration so that process of equilibration may bring it to the local equilibrium at proper time jisko hum proper time bolenge at certain time yani there will be a time like 0 1 2 3 so on at so at that time at which the time at which it will be, bring it to a local equilibrium we call that time as a proper time theek hai so then in this region so at proper time ta here i write it here in this region third region at proper time ta is equal to tau 0 the coagulant plasma will be formed coagulant we can have a coagulant plasma so if we want to observe the coagulant plasma that will be in this region at after a certain time now the time on the nuclear scale is very high you know that it will be the one it will be formed it is actually जैसे ही आपका ये कॉर्गुलम प्लाज्मा बन जाता है इट हैज अ वेरी शॉर्ट सर्वाइवल टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इट इन अ डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट लाइक व्हाट इज द सर्वाइवल पीरियड ऑफ दिस कब तक ये वनस द कॉर्गुलम प्लाज्मा इज फॉर्मड कब तक ये कॉर्गुलम प्लाज्मा आपका <coughs> रह जाता है एंड सो द प्लाज्मा सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हेन द टू न्यूक्लियर कोलाइड देयर विल बी अ फॉर्मेशन बट इट विल नॉट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस इट विल नॉट बी इन अ थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम सो सब्सिक्वेंट इक्विलिब्रेशन विल ब्रिंग इट टू द लोकल इक्विलिब्रियम एंड इट विल इवॉल्व एज पर द लॉज ऑफ द hydrodynamics the laws of hydrodynamics hydrodynamics mein jo laws of um, apply hote hain the same la laws will be applied to this coagulant plasma and the formation of the coagulant plasma will take place in this particular so once in the, re the third region we will have a coagulant plasma theek hai now as the plasma expands as i said ki it has a very short survival time as the plasma expands it its temperature uh, drops down or it cools down जब से जैसे आपका प्लाज्मा लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे आपका इस रीजन में प्लाज्मा था बट इट इट स्टार्ट एक्सपेंडिंग नाउ वंस इट विल स्टार्ट एक्सपेंडिंग इट इट्स टेंपरेचर विल ड्रॉप डाउन वंस द टेंपरेचर विल ड्रॉप डाउन द हाइड्रोनाइजेशन ऑफ द प्लाज्मा बिकॉज कॉर गुलान प्लाज्मा व्हाट इज कॉर गुलान प्लाज्मा इट विल बी देयर विल बी ओनली कॉर्क्स एंड गुलानस नाउ सो जो आप बिग बैंग में भी प्रेडिक्ट कर रहे हैं कि एट द टाइम ऑफ अ बिग बैंग सो देयर वाज ओनली द कॉर्क्स एंड द गुलान बट विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम द कॉर्क्स मर्ज इन विद अनदर कॉर्क्स द द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मैटर स्टार्ट्स टेक प्ले देन फाइनली प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन देन न्यू प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म अ न्यूक्लियस एंड न्यूक्लियस कंबाइंड विद अदर थिंग्स फॉर्म एज अ रिजल्ट नाउ देन वी हैव द स्टार्स एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स 
यू माइट है फिगर जहाँ पे बिग बैंग में आप टाइम स्केल पे आप देखते हैं सो एट द टेन टू पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड ऑलमोस्ट हम कहते हैं कि बिग बैंग हुआ था सो वन बाई वन बाई ट्वेंटी जीरो वन बाई सो दिस मच ऑफ द टाइम and then we uh, so after the after very sh uh, short time the formation of the this matter was taking place so that's why so this will be similarly pure quarks and the gluons but it has a short survival time once the quarks and the gluons will be formed so they will their temperature will drop down and as a result and as a result they will start the hydronization will take place so hydronization means the quark will combine with another quark and the quark will combine with another anti quark by right? and the gluon will be the media ionic particles there will be the hydronization so hydronization means the part the quarks will combine to form a <clears throat> to form hadrons that is what i mean by the hydronization but that is possible only okay now i will move to the next part of the uh, this particular lecture because i need to find out the energy density jo many energy density aapke is region mein batayi we have mathematically we will try to find out what will be the energy density in this particular region but before moving to that particular part i will ask you if you had some any query or any question or you you want to ask anything you can jaldi se quickly if anyone has some thing is it okay at least tell me yes we understand do you understand yes sir yeah. <laughs> yes, okay i try to uh, explain it in a very uh, this na no, simple way just uh, in, at an elementary level so now uh, let me summarize it so jorkel model kya hai jorkel model is simply ki no nucleus aapke hain so they are coming with a very high speed in the center of mass frame so they are coming from the opposite direction when they collide so they are colliding with such a speed so the, that they will form a coagulon plasma right coagulon plasma simply ye hai to in order to stay the coagulon plasma which was a challenge for a quite longer time to stay the coagulon plasma theoretically it was being predicted ki there is a quarks and the gluons at the time of the big bang but to stay the coagulon plasma we were supposed to do a bang bang matlab again the big bang we have to go uh, actually i need to i have to uh, tell you a whole the story about this coagulon plasma in the next lecture because that is about the coagulon plasma i uh, okay i'm not going to discuss it here so what i'm saying ke <clears throat> जो न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस के लिए दिस वाज गिवन बाय जॉर्कन मॉडल दिस जॉर्कन एंड ही से दैट दिस द व्हेन द न्यूक्लियस आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दे फॉर्म ए कोलोबुलन प्लाज्मा एंड दे डिपॉजिट अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी इन अ रीजन अराउंड z 0 नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द एक्सप्रेशन हाउ दिस एनर्जी डेंसिटी व्हाट विल बी द मैथमेटिकली हाउ मच ऑफ एनर्जी विल बी अवेलेबल इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रीजन व्हेन द टू न्यूक्लियस विल कोलाइड विद ईच अदर राइट but um, i have the 10 minutes left in this class so i think it is better to join the next class so that we will not get interrupted in the next lecture huh? i will just uh, end the meeting and i will immediately immediately you just immediately with the same link you just join again because after the 10 minutes it will again get disconnected it will say so the we have is it okay yes sir okay i'm just ending the meeting